you better that way or you better the other way? Doesn't matter. You're to me. better this way. <laughs> okay. All right. So today I'm going to talk to you about uh, measurements and fractions. We have to be able to read our uh, our rules, uh, tape measures, yardsticks all within one sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to talk about uh, how we divide up the inch and then read the ruler or tape measure so that we can measure objects to within a sixteenth of an inch. So first thing I'm going to do is I have this sheet of paper here and I'm going to uh, assume that my paper is an inch. So I'm going to divide that up and I have one sheet of paper and now I have folded it in half. So let me open this back up and I'm gonna draw a tick mark. Now I want this tick mark to basically be half the size of the paper. So there is my tick mark and that represents one half of the sheet of paper. Or if I'm using this for an inch, it would be one half of an inch. So let me go ahead and fold this back up again and I'm going to fold it over into half again. So now I'm taking one half of a half and I'm going to get one quarter or four equal sections. So each of these, one, two, three, four, are four equal sections. I'm also going to draw my tick mark that tick mark is going to be half the size of the half. Like you see, it's pretty common on different types of rulers and measuring devices. So I'm gonna draw those tick marks and assuming that this is my zero count off, this is one quarter. So I'll write that on there. So this is one quarter, two quarters, which reduces down into a half three quarters. So write that on there. Three quarters. Three quarters. And then of course, four quarters, which would be this edge of the paper. And of course, four quarters are four over four equals one. So let me fold this back up again. So I've got my quarter. I'm going to fold that quarter in half again. And one half of one quarter is one eighth. So here's my representation of one eighth of the sheet of paper. And when I open it up, I will have eight equal divisions of the sheet of paper. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal divisions of the paper. We're gonna put a tick mark again. Now this tick mark is going to be half the size of the tick mark for a quarter. And I'm gonna do those at each one. Just again, and you, this is common, you're gonna see this on a lot of your tape measures and your rulers, uh, scales, whether it's a 12 inch or 24 inch or 36 inch scale. So each of these tick marks is, a, is one eighth. So let me write my fraction up there. I have one eighth. And of course, one eighth, two eighth, which gets reduced to one quarter. This is going to be three-eighths. So let me write three-eighths there. That is three-eighths. Three-eighths, four-eighths, which reduces to one-half. Five-eighths, we'll write five-eighths for that tick mark. So here's five-eighths. Six-eighths, which reduces to three-quarters. Seven-eighths, we'll write that seven-eighths, and then eight-eighths. All right, but we're still not done yet. Let's go ahead and fold the paper back over into an eighth. And we're going to take half. Once again, we're gonna fold this in half. And with our sheet of paper now, if we take half of one-eighth, half of one-eighth is one-sixteenth. So this represents one-sixteenth of my sheet of paper. We fold unfold it now and you're going to see we've got 16 equal divisions of this paper 
So it's in two divisions. And again, I'm going to, at each of those crease lines, I'm going to make a tick mark that's half the size of the eight here. So each of these tick marks there represent 116. So, and as I go forward, we're gonna label these 1 16th, 2 16th of course reduces to 1 8th, 3 16th, 4 16th reduces to 1 quarter, 5 16th, 6 16th reduces to 3 8th, 7 16th, 8 16th reduces to 1 half, 9 16th, 10 16th which reduces to 5 8 11 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths reduces to three quarters, 13 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths reduces to seven eighths, 15 sixteenths, and then of course 16 sixteenths, which would be one inch. Now, for the intro to careers in industrial technology, you need to be able to read that a tape measure or the ruler down to a sixteenth of an inch. When we go into the building and construction class, so we also need to take our sixteenth and fold that over and in half again. Now this is where we're getting pretty tough to do this because the paper's pretty thick here, uh, so I'll do it. But one half of one sixteenth gives us 132nd. So here is basically 132nd of this sheet of paper. And of course, I could open that up and, and draw my tick marks on uh, everything just like I have with the 16th scale. And that just is a way to get closer and closer precision and accuracy in terms of our measurement and where we need to cut boards at. So uh, Notice here, just like on my regular ruler, whether I'm using the eighth scale or the 16th scale, we've got tick marks that are different sizes to help us know whether we need to go by the half, by the quarter, by the eighth, or by the 16th. So, and we can use that if we know to count off and take our measurement as we go. So, just a little exercise here showing how we can divide up the paper into fractions of an inch that's and put our tick marks in there when we take this measurement all we need to do is count the tick marks if we know how many tick marks we have in the uh, from zero to one inch then we can take our measurement just by simply counting the tick marks um, so that we can get that fraction of an inch so thanks for watching i hope this clears some things up uh, we'll keep practicing so that you can get these measurements down and be able to measure mark layout and cut your board precisely at the size you need your board to be cut at